Parsha's Nikes deals with Joseph's ascent to the throne of Egypt. Joseph started out as a slave, a foreigner, a prisoner, and rises to Viceroy, the COO of the world's greatest superpower. To indicate this, Pharaoh gave him the name Tzafnas Peneach, the interpreter of secrets, indicating that Joseph was a person who had an insight into the way that the Almighty was running the world. The portion of Miketz is read always around the Hanukkah time. So we're taught that that means that there's an intrinsic connection between Hanukkah and the portion of Miketz. The story of the Maccabees, the small army, outnumbered, winning a major victory against the world's great superpower, the Greeks. But that wasn't all of it. The major part of Hanukkah is the finding of the oil and the burning miracle that happened with the eight days. What's the deal with oil? Oil is a secret. Oil is hidden within whatever it is that the oil's coming from, especially from an olive, that what has to be done for the oil to come out of the olive is it has to be crushed to reveal the secrets. And so we see the Maccabees were made of the same thing that Yosef was made out of, an ability to recognize that deep down, it's the Almighty which makes the decisions, and that even though a person may be 12 years in a prison or many decades under an impossible despotic rule, the Almighty will bring the oil, the secrets, up to the surface. We're expecting the same thing now with the coming of the Mashiach. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.